Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another garden project. So as you can see, my um, planter here on the porch is, uh, is struggling just a little bit. <laughs> my spring arrangement, I had these beautiful pink snapdragons with some purple violas. I will put a picture up on the screen. It is finally way too hot and they are, I mean, they are not done. They are all the way done. So I have been waiting to do some summer things on the porch. I need to deadhead this bad boy. I need to take all of these dead things out and we're going to replant with fun summer color. So I have quite a few things starting with these pink angelonia. So I'm going to have to do some research. I had these last year and I loved them and I never deadheaded them. But this year um, I'm putting them in much earlier in the season. And so you can see, well, maybe you can't, I can, where a lot of the blooms that were on this plant, I've had it for about two weeks waiting to do this project. Most of the blooms that were here when I bought it have um, been spent. And so I don't know if I should cut this back and then it will rebloom, which it should. Like I said, I put these in last summer and they bloomed all summer and I never had to worry about it. Or if I should just let them be. We'll see. I'll do some research on Angelonia, but if you know if I should cut those off and uh, let them rebloom, put that down in the comments because that is what I'm not positive about. Then I have some daisies. So these are Garvinia Sweet Memories Gerber daisies. And I don't know why, I just love that pink color. And I wanted some bigger blooms to go with the Angelonia since the Angelonia is that kind of tall fox glove kind of like structure. I wanted some big bold blooms to go with it. Then got this one. And this is a Sardiva White Improved Scavola. I've never used these or heard of them. Mom grabbed them for me because I told her I wanted something white to go in these. And she thought they would be pretty. And then for some cascading interest, I have these, which are a proven winners, Super Bells, Double Twilight, and some Trailing Lantana. So we are going to start by taking everything out and then we will kind of arrange everything in these planters. Now planters, of course, you need to water them and fertilize them consistently because they're not getting anything from the ground. You are giving them all of their food and water, but because they can't grow down into the dirt, you can pack the containers much fuller than if you were planting something in a landscape that would have the opportunity to grow to its full size width and potential. So we are going to pack this quite full. I love my little angel. But we're just gonna get started by taking everything out. Um, I am going to take this fern and um, transplant it up into a pot on the porch because he doesn't do quite as well in the summer. This spot gets full, full, full sun. So also if you watched my potting up Dahlia and peony tubers video. Look at my Dahlia tuber. This is a cafe au lait tuber and it is literally like the thing I'm most proud of at the moment. I cannot wait to uh, put that out in the new raised beds, but new raised beds don't exist yet. So one problem at a time. All right. Start by just pulling all of this out. I'm going to save all of this material simply because mom wants it for her compost pile. Otherwise, I would literally just probably throw it away.
I do have drip going to these, so I'm just going to take that out for the moment. I'm sure as I go through here, I'm probably going to find some more roots. So far, so good. And I've already harvested quite a bit of seed from these snapdragons and from the viola, so I'm not worried about that today. I did not think that was going to make quite the mess it did. That's okay. on my mat, but apparently uh, we're too late for that. I think that's it. So Angelonia and our pretty daisies in the back, We've got the white in the front, and then our super bells and the lantana to trail over the front. This plant is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. It is a bit of a trailer, so it will also start to go down the front, but I think that is exactly the uh, arrangement that I want. So. I know it's silly, but between the daisies and the super bells, I think those are my favorites in this whole arrangement. So I'm pretty excited about it. I already know I like Lantana. I used it on the one over on the other side of the porch where I just did Angelonia and Lantana. And it looks great. Thought I'd do some Angelonia and Lantana here to kind of echo that. the other one. Okay guys, so I think I love it. I love these. I really hope 
I, I want to put some in the garden next year. I don't know. I might have to sneak some of those down by the shed because I still am working on that garden bed and I really just think they're so pretty. But the question is, how do they perform? Do they bloom all season? Do they only bloom once? You know, if they don't perform properly, if this is the only time I'm going to see blooms on them all year, then I don't need to worry about them because just not, that's not what you're looking for in containers. Containers, I want all season long interest. Um, speaking of all season long interest, let's go ahead and put our drip back up. I'm going to sneak this through the back and put it right in the middle so that everybody gets water. And if you still working on setting up drip to your pots, mom and I set up all my window boxes, everything on this porch, um, my sweet peas that are now super tunia vista snow drift petunias and my stock tank garden. We set up all the drip. Okay. I'm not too sure how to reach this one because it fell. Earlier this season. Oh, here we go. All right, guys. So I will link to that video down below. If you want to see how we set these up on drip, but you know, switching things over from spring to summer with the drip still in there, these are going to get watered every day, twice a day, which is what they need in full sun and containers. And uh, we will just keep an eye on them, see how they grow. Honestly, I bought the Angelonia two weeks ago. I bought the daisies, don't remember what this is, and the Lantana a couple days ago. And then yesterday when I get, I went to get the Super Tunia Vista Snowdrift, Fuchsia, and Bubblegum. I have Bubblegum all over my yard. Um, so does mom. But if you've been watching along, I've been blogging her stuff too. She is extending her whole flower bed over on the left and on the right. And she already put Bubblegum in all on the right. So she needed more for the left. Regardless, I went to get those and I found these. And I thought with the Lantana being that purple, and the Angelonia, that this would be a beautiful purple, white, pink color combination. The only thing that I would have liked better is maybe purple Angelonia and pink Super Bells if I was designing this from scratch because that would give me not so much pink, purple. But as it is, I love the combination. I even really like this. It looks like a flower fairy meadow. So. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some close-ups with the tags for these guys so you can see them nice and pretty. Um, I will deadhead this guy because I've kind of forgot to deadhead him for the last couple weeks. Which is probably why he doesn't look so good. And then we are going to be done. I will be back hopefully in the next couple weeks. I have a um, Proven Winners Summerific Candy Crush coming for this big pot. I thought I bought one last year and I planted it out in the garden. It's doing great, but it's not Candy Crush. When it bloomed last year, it was white. It ended up being mislabeled. What I have is ballet slippers, but I want that pink. <laughs> so this is going to be a Candy Crush hibiscus eventually. So I will be back to plant that up whenever I get it. They're sending me one since they accidentally mislabeled it last year. And by they, I mean um, a lady who sells flowers. It's a personal kind of she sells them out of her garden kind of place. So I didn't actually tell her about it last year because she's a person, it, life happens. But um, I messaged her this year and said, hey, are you gonna have any more? Cause I really want one. And I also wanted to get some more daylilies that I got from her. She sells the most beautiful daylilies. When we go out to pick them up, I will ask if I can film in her garden for you because she has, her garden is beautiful and she just has so many varieties of beautiful, mature flowers. So I will ask her if she will let me film a little video for y'all. But either way, I had messaged her because I wanted some more day lilies to go with the ones I bought last year. And she said she would give me another candy crush since it was this label wrong. And I told her, you know, mistakes happen, but I will take it because I want one. 
So we're going to go pick it up and I will probably just pay her a little extra for that. But either way, let's stop talking about things that have nothing to do with this. And I'm going to show you a close up of all these beautiful flowers. And if you know if I should cut these back down to below where the stump blooms are, let me know because that is the only thing I'm not sure about. Okay, so starting right underneath my little fairy girl, I have our Proven Winners Super Bells Double Twilight Fold Apart Sun. They are supposed to get six to 12 inches. They are trailers. They are spacing minimum eight, max 12 in the landscape and zones. They are an annual except in zones 9A to 11 B and they're hardy to 30 degrees. So there you go. They are a beautiful double bloom flower with this like dark purple insides with white edges. I just, I really like them. I think they will be beautiful as they start filling in here and trailing down the front of this little container. So right next to them, we have the white fairy meadow. And this is Sardiva white improved Scavola. It is a full sun annual. It wants six plus hours of direct sun, which it will get here. <laughs> wants to stay semi moist and it gets eight high by 10 to 12 wide blooms all the way till first frost and is hardy to 32 degrees. It has these kind of like stars of, of flowers and you can see it is, I think it is going to trail off the front here. So it should be really pretty. Just blanket of blooms. If it likes its spot, we will find out. Last in the front is the lantana and you can see it's, here's one, it has these little tiny purple flowers. There aren't, like there's a lot of buds on here. See all those buds? There's not a lot of open flowers just yet. It is lantana trailing. You can of course get lantana that is mounding. It wants to stay moist. Um, it goes 10 high by 36 wide spacing on the ground is going to be quite a bit since they are trailing and is not hardy below 32 degrees water and deer resistant. And I believe mostly blooms in the summer. So it should be a pretty mix as these two start to tangle and go down the sides here. And I mean, this is just one flower, but you, you'll get flowers all around these cones here. So I have a whole mix there. Then of course, we have my new favorites, the daisies. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the white daisies, Gerber daisies, but I like these pink ones, that darker pink with the insides, with the lighter pink. They are Garvinia Sweet Memories Gerber Daisies, annuals of course, full sun, and deer resistant, six hours, low watering, eight to 12 high, eight to 12 wide, summer through fall, and hardy to 32. Everything that I picked has about the same water and light requirements, and that is on purpose because they're going in the same place. So then the Angelonia, are these tall spiky blooms. This is the Archangel Dark Rose Angelonia. It is an annual. Six hours direct sun, low watering, 12 to 14 high by 10 to 12 wide. Spring, summer, tw fall, and hardy to 40 degrees. Now I had these last year and you can see, dun, 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 right here. I have some of the blue all the way around my wind chimes here. And in our zone 8B, they come back. So I wish I would have kept my plant in this pot last year. I would still have it, but 
it says annual on the tag and I did not know. So out it went, but there we go. Gonna go have to write my umbrella. I'm trying to shade my new Veronica over there. But so far, this is the container. I really love it. Now it's very symmetrical, which is not for everybody. I wasn't sure I was gonna go symmetrical, but I just ended up liking it. So if you don't like it, I guess it's good it's not in your yard. I will see you in the next video, hopefully with the Candy Crush. And later, y'all. Bye.